to episode 13 of Wired In. I'm Beth Cochran. In today's podcast, we're going to talk all about public relations and social media. And even if you don't work in the media industry, as a business owner, you really should be using social media to connect with um, with different storytellers, including bloggers, um, journalists, broadcast and radio reporters, and producers. Um, simply just because you never know when you might be able to serve as a source for them, or better yet, have your story told. And, you know, by now, a majority of people in the media have Twitter and or Facebook and LinkedIn accounts. Um, They're using these mediums not only to promote their projects and their work, but also to connect and um, search for sources for story ideas. So being on the receiving end of their posts will help you network with some very powerful voices, um, but it also increases your chances of you or your business being a part of their story or news report. Um, You know, the social media platform has really just done a lot to tear down many of these barriers and uh, kind of bridge the gap between some of these media producers and the community. So how do you connect? Um, well, it's, you know, just get on there and start interacting just like you do with, um, with your social networks. But just remember that some of the same rules apply here. One, you know, don't spam or bombard them with irrelevant messages. And, um, if they do ask for a particular source or a topic for a story, be sure that you truly fit the bill. Um, if you randomly just pitch them with an off-topic, um, subject or pitching yourself for um, that doesn't even relate to their story, then you run the risk of never getting one of your responses read by them again. And self-edit. While speed and brevity are the nature of um, social media, just be sure that you're sending accurate information. You want them to think of you as a credible source. And pay attention to their posts. See what they're typically um, writing about or just promoting through their social networks, this will give you a lot of insight into um, the types of stories that they cover and um, and the types of story ideas that they might be receptive to as well. And don't always just promote yourself. If, if you see that they are in need of a particular source and you may not necessarily be the right fit, but you know someone who is, just send it to them anyways. Or if you come across a compelling story that may not necessarily benefit you, still send it to them because they'll remember that 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 and, um, you know, may turn to you later for a different story. And it's just good karma. And don't get discouraged um, if they don't respond. Just keep in mind that they likely have, you know, at least 10 times the number of followers as the average user and likely just as many messages from them. So that's, you know, that would be near impossible to keep, keep up with. It's a lot to sift through. Just be diligent and be relevant and don't give up. More often than not, it will pay off. Trust me. And um, I'll be sure to throw some links in the show notes um, to a few lists of key media sources on Twitter. So just get around or get in there and poke around on their profiles and see who they're talking to, who they're following, and then follow those people too if they're relevant to you. And um, also just see what other networks they might be on. Don't forget about LinkedIn and check out and see if they have any Facebook pages or profiles on there. So, question of the week. How do you use social media to connect with various media outlets? And have, do you have any success stories? Um, feel free to share them with us because we always love to hear about them. And that'll do it for this episode. Be sure to tune in next week and we'll have some more tips and tools. Thanks. Thanks.